Hey, Matt 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.3, number 37. And here we were asked to talk about the multiplicities of this function. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and factor it. So if I look at my function, I can see that I've got some powers of x there. So um, I'm going to actually go ahead and factor out the x to the fourth from each of these terms. So that's what you see me doing here. And when I factor out that x to the fourth, I'm left with this trinomial of x squared minus x minus 2. And if you're ever unsure when you factor it, you could always remultiply this or redistribute this and see if it works. So what I mean by that, let me switch to my highlighter. If I thought about x to the fourth times x squared, sure enough, that is x to the sixth. If I thought about x to the fourth times x, that is x to the fifth. And x to the fourth times 2 does get me back to 2x to the fourth. So you can always just kind of redistribute and multiply and see if that's working for you. And then now that I have this trinomial, I can factor it and it breaks into these linear factors of x minus 2 and x plus 1. So now if I start to pick this apart, let me go my highlighter. I've got three different factors that I'm going to account for, right? So I've got the x to the fourth. I've got x minus 2, and I've got x plus 1. So if I want to look at the exponents on each of these, right, I have a 4, I have a 1, and I have a 1. And if I set each factor to 0, the first one would give me, oops, let me undo that. All right, the first one, ooh, there we go, would give me x equals 0. Then I would want x minus 2 is equal to 0, and then x plus 1 was equal to 0. So this is already set to go. This gives me a 0 at x equaling 2. This gives me a 0 at x equaling negative 1. So there are my three zeros that are happening. If I was going to graph this function, I would have three x-intercepts. But this asked me to get the multiplicities, so this is where I start to break out the multiplicities. For the x equals 0, that came from this factor, right? So it has a multiplicity of 4. The next 0 came at 2. Right, So that one had a multiplicity of 1 because that was its exponent. The next 0 was negative 1, right? and that had a multiplicity of 1 as well because that was its exponent. So that's how I figured those out. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.